week's episode. We have just arrived at Tonanulu National Park, um, also known as the Bungle Bungles. Um, we've just arrived at the entrance and we have heard that the road in is shocking. Um, and we've just pulled in and a guy was pulling out saying that him and their group turned around. turned around because the road was just that bad. Um, so we yeah, we've just deflated the tires and we're heading down. Seems Not too like. sure how we'll go. Um, but so yeah. We got the boat, so it's even harder. If we didn't have the boat, we'd definitely do it, but yeah. we're just gonna see what it's like. If it's too shocking, we're just gonna have to turn around unfortunately and keep heading towards Darwin. But yeah. But yeah, we'll, like. we'll see how we go. There is a caravan park at the top, um, which we were, we figured we out that was the there. We'll, we would have left the boat and just driven in in the car, but um, it's, it's actually been shut for like the past few years apparently. So that wasn't <laughs> very good. So we can't leave it there. So we've, yeah, we don't really have a choice but to take the boat with us. But yeah, we've just started the track now, and yeah, we'll see how we go. We've decided it didn't to. Last long. <laughs> it didn't last long. It's just not worth it with the boat trailer. We end up breaking something and getting stuck out here. Yeah, there's no reception out here the either. The trailer's just bouncing. bouncing. <laughs> yeah, the corrugations. The first little bit like wasn't too bad, and then you hit like a big yeah, bit of gonna corrugation. Get, it's going to get way worse. It's from getting heard. worse. Yeah, like and then you, you hit like the four-wheel drive stuff as well. Um, yeah, it's just not worth it. We'll come back another time yeah. and see them next time. So, gives us a reason to do to come back again. <laughs> have come on to a bit of the gib we're not doing the complete gib this time um, due to having the boat I just don't think we don't really think the boat will cope with that and don't want to put it through it um, but there is a couple of camps that you can get to that are quite easy um, so we've come down to Pentecost River which is where we're set up now um, and then we're going to explore a couple more gorges tomorrow um, and the day after which we'll show you later on um, but yeah this is a good way to see a bit of the gib without actually doing the gib um, but I'll show you our camp at the Pentecost River so just setting up now so peaceful and just right along the river this is so crazy it's like 5 30 and it is so dark the lightning and thunder has already started it's going to be storming the next couple of days it's so dark ready we're just quickly made dinner we made burgers um before this all comes down because i think the only place we're really going to be able to go is the rooftop so we've arrived at emma gorge and this is what we've come to damn it that sucks we did know that um the season finishes it is, does say that it closes from october to april but we're still in september so we thought we might still be able to come we hadn't seen anything that it was closed um which is a bit disappointing So we've come to El Questro Station, which is where we were already planning on staying tonight, but we're meant to do Emma Gorge first and then come here and then do El Questro Gorge tomorrow. Um, when we came in and checked in, they did say that um, Emma Gorge Resort is closed, but Emma Gorge is still open, but they open the gates at 7am, which um, we were there at 6.50. So if we waited 10 more minutes, um, the gates were meant to be open and you could have gone. but. Just seeing the sign saying it was closed, we just assumed, and the other sign said that it was closed for the season, um, which was for the resort, but we just took it as everything. Um, but yeah, we came in, this is all open. There is some other things that we can check out here, which I think we'll go do now. Um, and then, yeah, tomorrow will be El Questro Gorge, and then I think the following day we'll try Emma Gorge again. 
since we've lost a little bit of time we're just doing a short walk today um so we've just arrived at zabidi springs um which is a natural hot spring so we're gonna head up there now and check it out <laughs> in the shade. Um, the hot springs were so nice, but because it is so hot in temperature outside, the hot springs were a bit much. <laughs> like you just kind of wanted to jump in water to cool off, but the hot springs were actually naturally really warm. I think it said they can get um, between like 28 and like 33 degrees or something like that, um, which is really nice if you head in early, but we kind of headed in during like the peak time since of everything that happened this morning. Um, but yeah, we're just relaxing now. There isn't really much else we can do with our day because you're meant to start the gorges before 10 a.m. just because it does get too hot. So we've just set up and we're just gonna spend the rest of the day chilling and then we're gonna have a super early wake up tomorrow to do El Questro Gorge, um, which is a longer, walk so we want to start super early before it gets hot and then we can finish early as well so we've come down to El Cuestro Gorge the starting point we're in the car park now we're the first ones here we want to get in before the heat because yep. it's already starting to get pretty humid and it, we got up at 5 a.m so yep, to <laughs> yeah to start it's it gonna early. Be interesting it's a bit of a walk i think so yeah i think it says it can take up to five hours return um because there's two different water spots two different pools you can walk to. Yeah, so I'm excited for that. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we go and let you know how long it takes us. Um, yeah, we're about to start. It's around 6.30 at the moment. We're not even halfway and we are sweating. But we still haven't seen anyone else. I think my first one's down. Get the whole thing to ourselves for a little bit. So we're not sure if this is the end, which I doubt it. It's only been about 45 minutes. So Jav's gonna go check if there's a way <laughs> over. Just an adventure man. Get it, Jav. So I've managed to get up with Jav's help. And now Jav's just gone back to retrieve our shoes. Careful. Bit of a swim. <laughs> good fun. Top's looking good. That's a position to. Mine got pretty wet, but. <laughs> Part of the adventure. We finally climbed the last bit. There's a waterfall at the end. Finish the walk. <laughs> Sweating. Cannot wait to. Have a dip. Have a good dip. So
just finished up at Math Making Pool and we're now on the walk so refreshing. back. So refreshing. Yeah, we got a walk back. So. Yeah, it was so refreshing jumping in that after the big walk. We were sweating so much. We're now are still a bit wet, so we're gonna try and power through and hopefully the water on us will keep us cool. I think it took us two hours to get there, yeah. We stopped and took pictures and stuff, guys. Yeah. Probably do it in an hour and a half. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, but now we're on the mission back. It's starting to rain on our way back. So, feels nice. yeah, it feels nice, but we might chuck this camera away. We might pull out the GoPro for any cool bits on the way down. If not, we'll see you back in the car. back from the El Presto Gorge Wharf. We're back at our site. We're just picking up the boat. Um, our plan is to stay at Pentecost River again tonight because um, that's a free camp um, instead of staying here again. Um, and then we're going to try and get to Emma Gorge again tomorrow. So we've come to Emma Gorge this morning and it is open. So we have just started the hike. We stayed at Pentecost River last night and then just drove here first thing in the morning. Um, it's about 7.20 and I think this walk only should take about two hours. It's already, hot. once again, <laughs> so hot. Um, yeah, probably could have started a bit earlier but we weren't too sure what time the gates opened because we were told six and then we were told seven, so yeah. So we've made it to Turquoise Pool. Yeah. Um, there is freshwater crocodiles in here, but they're not too big of a worry, but I don't know if we're gonna go for a swim today. That was a bit, a bit spooky. <laughs> There's no one else here, so we might not. But I think you can jump off the rock. You sort of make sure it's deep enough, obviously. But I think Emma Gorge is at the very end there. You can see the waterfall coming down. So I think you make your way up the left side here and then we'll go check that out and then we can start to head back. Bunch of little fish swimming right there. We just had a swim at Emma Gorge. It was so beautiful. It was probably one of our yeah, favourite. The waterfall looks yeah, awesome. Favourite waterfalls that we've seen. It was cold, stunning. But refreshing, guys. Yeah, so refreshing, especially in this heat. It was actually quite cool at the end of the walk in that yeah. section as well, which was really nice. Um, but yeah, now we're on the trek back. We're back in the car park after our Emma Gorge walk. It took us two hours in total, um, including having a swim. Um, it was a lot easier than yesterday's walk, which was um, quite nice. Um, and yeah, the swim was super refreshing. We're now heading to our final destination in WA, which is gonna be Lake Argyle. And we're planning on staying at the caravan park there, which has the beautiful pool that looks over the lake. Um, so yeah, we're gonna 
pack up here and head down there and chillax the rest of the day. Lake Argyle super early this morning to make our way to the Northern Territory and we've just arrived at the sign. Can't believe it. Cannot believe our time in WA is finished. We're already looking forward to coming back but time for our next adventure. <laughs> 